everyone, and welcome to Streaming Rainbow. Uh, I am Laura Gallagher, your DM for the session. And yeah, welcome to session six of Gillyton. Uh, yeah, if you're back for a six session, then I'm hoping you're enjoying it and not hate watching this. Please don't hate. I mean, hate watch it if you want. We'll take the views. Um, <laughs> but uh, make sure that if you haven't already, you like, subscribe, follow us on all of our social medias. Uh, it will be at the end. Uh, all the links are going to be in our video description and at the end of the video as well. Also, join our Discord because we would love to talk to you all. We've got a few people in there and it is a, a grand old time. We talk about nerdy things like uh, just any D and D lore, um, tips and tricks, uh, cool little things. And also we're just all dumb together. We're just a bunch of silly geese. It's great. Um, great. Okay. Um, when last we were all together, um, so much happened that it's really difficult for me to even remember. Um, so what happened last is uh, lots of drugs happened except for for Tez. Um, and Tez had to sit around and babysit, uh, and in doing so really offended a nice girl, uh, who probably won't talk to him anymore. And now he doesn't have a job. Probably nothing's been confirmed. He's just assuming that he doesn't have a job, which I think is really kudos. That's the best way to go about any kind of job is just assume you mess up once and you're done. Um, good time. Good thing doing that. Uh, but yeah, Kara. Uh, he called Kara to be like, hey, I'm really sorry. And she said whatever and hung up on him. Um, and yeah. Sorry, guys. My brain. I have no air conditioning, by the way, audience. So my brain is in a fog because of that. Um, hey, somebody else. What did what, what we miss? I'm going to throw it out to the <laughs> players because I cannot remember. We, we did break into the sheriff's house. We broke into the That's sheriff's right. house. That's right. Yes. yes. We, we found, found the other, had a uh, uh, sheriff hopper situation. He's yes. a, well. He has a daughter, right? That uh, outside of town. He has a daughter town, with that's living with her mom. Divorce. Yeah. Oh, so sad. He's meticulously clean. Uh, he has no mirror whatsoever, and we broke in there for no reason. And Kaylee uh, stole his back. So it wasn't the, no reason. We came out pretty well, solid. It's gonna we gotta, be rad we gotta, when he murders this man with his own gun. Well, yeah, we're about to. He came because I called the police on him. I guess Waterloo called the police on him um, after we had some like discussion about maybe going to meet him, um, and yeah. we just summoned him. Yeah, and the beautiful beefy dwarf man had to handle it while we were gone. Uh, Richard, we love Richard. Richard, Richard. Um, Tess was mean to Richard. Two cops apparently died <laughs> because Lisa decided to drive her car through the cop shop. Yes, which because is what Lisa I call the police station committed bioterrorism on the sheriff's department. Mm -hmm. She is terrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and so the the cops are looking for her specifically, Sheriff King's. Knightley. Man, King Knightley. Got it. <laughs> uh, so King Knightley, Knightley. Came, King Knightley came, um, and uh, Waterloo told her that there was a spider monster in the stacks uh, because he made a spider monster in the stacks. Yeah. And uh, he just questioned us about where Lisa was. Uh, because really I will just... remind you all, it is coming back to me now. Um, you uh, reported that Lisa destroyed yeah, property. Yeah. So he was like, well, I kind of need to find her to mete out justice. Um, so I, I kind of don't have time to deal with a, a, a spider monster. Um, <laughs> and my neurodivergent brain has to remember this for the sake of my sanity. Was the spider monster's name Bilby when all the spiders Bil are together? Bilby. It was it's actually... Bilby. Okay, good. I don't know. Cameron doesn't remember the joke he made. <laughs> yeah, but it's Bilby for sure. Okay, good. Thank goodness. I loved it. It's a great, great name. Um, and um, yeah, and then we ended with uh, Waterloo antagonizing uh, Sheriff Knightley. Um, was going to threaten to call so a cab. Rude. Gonna have so a, guy gotta call a cap it's all good a cap yes 
Um, and uh, and Tez got up right behind him and said, basically, we know what you're fucking up to. Uh, so that is where we that. That no is where qualified we... immunity in this fucking coffee shop. <laughs> 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 guys yes. there's gonna be so many so many cop references uh so <laughs> content warning at the top or just join ew, in with ew. the fun in the comments just tell us all of uh all of your acap because again correct um <laughs> all right um we actually rolled initiative uh off of screen uh so we are jumping in to initiative nothing bad is happening Nothing bad. We were is just happening. mean with our words. Nobody you were hit just anybody. a lot of provoking is happening. So um, uh, the sheriff is real angry. Uh, his dog is not growling, but very tense. Um, so he has got <laughs> he's got Waterloo in front of him. Tez in the back. He is looking around. Uh, Kaylee. What are in as you're watching this? So and, and uh, you did steal <laughs> one of his firearms. So what I is did. Kaylee? What is what are you doing in preparation? Oh, just watching very tensely and being ready as soon as he moves to shoot him with his own gun. Good. Okay. Noted. Uh, and uh, Snips, uh, what? Uh, where's Snips at? Oh, well, your Snips in. is currently in a backpack, <laughs> uh, sitting on a crinkly bag of hot Cheetos. On Tez. So, <laughs> on That's, Tez's back, like yes, Yoda in a backpack. In, yes, in, exactly. In <laughs> so I assume with tensions high, he's probably <laughs> like holding out <laughs> until something happens <laughs> in preparation for i'm i'm really i'm afraid for tez to get his like lights knocked out and snips getting thrown out of the backpack but we'll see got it <laughs> um it's very tense and then all of a sudden <laughs> just you hear from the back of the bookshop hundreds of books falling onto the ground God damn it. just the loudest noise um and in that moment of distraction he's going to turn and book it out of the book it out of the building oh thank god <laughs> do you guys follow he's running no uh, a police I officer's would... running away from us He's alone in a coffee shop with some crazy people. So yeah, he's You're gonna correct. be in a better place. <laughs> I'm not weird at all. You don't. You don't exist as far as I don't he's even concerned. Exist. <laughs> yeah, you don't even exist to me. Can't see. Me. Uh, I'm gonna just shout after him. Go report back to your masters and tell them we're coming. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Noted. What are you doing? We have no idea what he's doing with those people. Yeah, but we got to force the issue to find out. Oh my goodness. What happened with all the books? The spiders probably. Was that you? Nobody can't talk. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> Just so many spider I think noises. You probably cast the spell. Well, whatever it was, it saved us from a rough and tumble. Yeah. For now. <laughs> For now. Who's that? Who said that? Who said that? This is echoing. It was Ard. God! It was oh, art. For now. Go eat a bird, you fat little piece of shit. <laughs> Should we follow him back to his place? Uh, I... That seems like a terrible idea. He's boring. He doesn't even have a mirror. But we don't know that he doesn't have a different way of doing it. You really think that piece of shit is... Like... 
part of something. Like Lisa, I could understand. She has some influence, but she doesn't that have man influence. is just sad. You know who might actually... Nah, I don't know. Um, yeah, we gotta figure out who's the next connecting point, though, if we if find out who does have a mirror. We gotta get to the well, bottom of this. I... I do have that, that one spell I used. I could go around and just look for it, I guess. Could spend some time. I have okay. Well, it takes 10 it takes more you minutes. A, yeah, okay. Well, everybody get in the van because I need yes. to take this 10 minutes. I need to take this 10 minutes to drive to the uh, bowling alley to try to apologize to Kara in person. Okay, before that, could you take 10 minutes and just drive around town? <laughs> But you're no. Well, I'm gonna like, do that. I'm gonna do that while you're casting the spell. We're like two minutes from the bowling alley. Uh, well, finish. that's fair. This one is a little newer. I got it in my grimoire. <clears throat> Literally takes seconds to cast. Okay. So ten minutes drive around and then go do your thing. Sure. Oh my yeah. goodness! So much fun a road trip. <laughs> is everybody coming? Everybody voluntarily gets into the candy van. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Ew. Ew. Yellow line. Yellow line. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> candy van. I mean, I think I'll get oh, some. That is oh, my wait. house. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a sweet place. <laughs> oh my god, have we given Snips candy yet? I don't think so. Gonna, <laughs> Just ices and Just nachos. Ices. Yeah. yeah. Ices and nachos. And hot Cheetos. And hot Cheetos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that he eats one at a time and licks his fingers each time before putting it back in the bag. Okay. No. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I'll take, like, the long way around. We... Is there any... Yeah. Would you guys like to do any investigation as you're driving around? Yes, I would like to cast Locate Objects okay. on that creepy-ass mirror. Okay. And see if I can ping any other of them. Okay. Um, go ahead and see. But you got to be dry. It's, it's a thousand feet, isn't it? A thousand feet. Yes. A thousand feet. Okay. That's a really big. That's a really big <laughs> area. So, um, you definitely do get, um at least one ping one is like echoing Mm -hmm. back in a weird way um so it's like there's something but you're having a hard time like grabbing onto it but there is one for sure that is and that's ours no because you made it into a mirror you shield you cloaked it as a mirror right so that wouldn't be oh oh Oh, that's right i wouldn't be able to detect it you would not be able to sometimes i forget my own genius (laughs) So you want I would me to like to know. Right? I would like the, so to know the DM does not want to make Cameron feel good about his genius, but <laughs> I will do it. <laughs> oh my! Okay, so, so this I'll one. just drive in the direction of the one ping we have. Then, yeah, yeah. Where we get? Where we wind up? Uh, the police station. No. Uh, See, it's in his no. office. You it was him. Goodness gracious, that's so boring. Oh, he's so Christ. boring. Don't follow him. Well, this thing, why is it taking him? I don't know. I spells. And I have no sense that I'm so smart. Thank you. <laughs> also, I do appreciate a hype man, even if you're a little off pitch. <laughs> I wasn't I hate you. Let's make she a sounded in. like me. <laughs> we're this is uh, guys. We're in a mood apparently. <laughs> collective, collective Sorry. mood. We got. I think we've said that every this, time we've played this. One game. really got it's, me off guard. That it's been a different mood like every me. single time though. Um. <laughs> well, we need to make a plan to get him. I'm, I'm gonna like keep driving and try to drive away. Do I see, does he have like a truck or something or like a 
a nice Ford Bronco that um, nobody else in town has. Uh, go ahead and uh, anybody who wants to roll uh, investigation uh, or perception, whatever, as you guys are driving around. Hmm. Okay, that's a very good question, Gaiden. I got a 21. Cool. I got a 7. Investigation. I, was I got a 15 perception. <laughs> Uh, Tez, was that uh, 21 investigation or perception? Uh, perception. Okay. I got a 21 investigation. Cool. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Kaylee, you are, you're getting there, but you're still, like, this is a weird group to handle. <laughs> like, this is, like, you were looking forward to, like, potentially shooting somebody, and then that absolutely did not happen. So you're a little yeah. disappointed. <laughs> you're like, aw. Uh, so you're kind of focusing on that. Um, <laughs> so, um, uh, Tez, with your uh, with your perception, you definitely do see that there is a yeah. Let's it's a Jeep. Let's give him some basic ass bitch car. He's got a Jeep, Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> um, hey Tez, if you can get me within eyesight of him driving. I may be able to stop him. Uh, so his car is at the police station, you said, right? Um, yeah, parked and no one's in it. Uh, okay. With so we'll... a 21 investigation, you, uh, uh, Waterloo, you imagine he walked. So you hmm. can kind of see the like you're like okay he's not there so he must have walked with rembrandt his dog um so he is somewhere between the cottage and the station hey laura what hey, was what? he wearing what was he wearing he oh was wearing God. um jeans and a uh white t-shirt and looking real basic no and he had his badge on him and he keeps it pretty Can straightforward I can I cast locate object on his badge? Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. So he is what about? I don't. I'm not a distance person. Um, he's he's probably about. We'll call it like 15 minutes away walking. Okay, he's about 15 minutes away. He's on foot. We can cut him off. Throw him into the van. Van? Oh my goodness. Such a weird word. Van. The Van. The Van. That's somebody's name I remembered. Is that the man who works for me? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so we're going to kidnap him. 100%. Okay. I go just drive in the direction what really tells me. Rad. No qualms. <laughs> In, in for a penny, in for a pound. Yeah. We've got to be very stealthy about this. We don't want anyone here, anybody oh, else okay. to see. Oh. oh, wait. Oh, we don't. And I turn into Lisa. I'm going to cast this guy so on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Are your bangs messed up? Yes. Absolutely. Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. But they're messed up in but a different like... way. Yeah, because it's like an approximation because all these her is that her bangs were messed up. So they're just like glued to like like lifted like high up like um what's that like mother mother may I? <laughs> oh got it. I mean goes she should really go for some mall bangs. Those are the those are the shit. Um We are beaten weeds, people. <laughs> yeah. Um Desperate so you uh you guys are making your way very inconspicuously in this van with lisa with crazy hair um and you see him making his way through um he's 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 trying to be stealthy so you see him making his way kind of through uh two apartment buildings like he's Mm -hmm. walking through green spaces and things like that can Come I do that? Haley, what should we say to him? Hit him with the van. 
<laughs> He's just a guy. Hit him with your car. <laughs> is there anybody? Is there anybody else around? I would like to hit the man with my van. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, Tez. If there's people around, they can see you. And if there's people around, I think I should be the one hitting him with the van. Not to like okay. take away your glory just because so Lisa gets in trouble. Okay, let's switch. <laughs> and we go back to the covered panel parts of the van so nobody can see me or Kaylee. I get it as Lisa, and I'm, I guess I'll fucking hit him with the van. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, roll an attack <laughs> vehicular um, manslaughter actually, actually before I do that can I honk so that he turns and looks at us yeah I, like try to get him to turn and look at us yeah and then I want and then I would love to use my um my my hypnotic gaze so so that he is stuck in place that's that is a stretch and I will not allow it that's a, some okay. distance <laughs> He can't see me. No, a giant van is driving towards him. So what's the what's the attack? Do you think I'm? Uh, let me see if I'm proficient in vehicles. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I got these weird hoes. Um, dex <laughs> roll <laughs> roll with your dexterity. Awesome. That's a plus zero. Uh, eighteen. Let me look at his AC. <laughs> so he... mad. Wild. Um, <laughs> you get like so close to him and he oh, shoulder yeah, pulls out of the way. Yeah, no. he didn't get his AC. Crazy. So <laughs> crazy, crazy guy. Um, so he rolls out of the way and books it. Like he is running. <laughs> Well, I so it, he if he has to get up and use half his movement, I'm getting out of the van and uh, catching up to attack him. Okay. I'm gonna try to shoot him in the leg. Yes. Oh All right. God. Go ahead. <laughs> Snips would like to um, take a moment to try and see if there's anyone else that is not a, a part of this plan around. Okay. Uh, uh, Kaylee, go ahead and roll your ranged attack. Um. So, uh, actually, so, uh, we're going to assume the, uh, we're going to assume the, uh, uh, <laughs> initiative, order. initiative order. Um, so <laughs> Tez goes first <laughs> Okay. in that case. So Tez, go ahead and go ahead and tackle. Um, he's got, yeah. he's got, so if it's, if he's half speed, yeah, he's only got 30 feet movement. So. Uh, yeah, so catch up, and uh, I do a first to grapple. Nope, that does not hit a nine or something. Yeah. There we go. Uh, 25? 25 does hit. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, so I just kind of, I try to grab him and, like, turn him towards Kaylee. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Um, okay. Um, yeah, and Kaylee. Uh, oh, well, actually, um, you got a dog. You got a dog. Right. going to come at you. Um, oh, so... shoot. Yeah, and then, sorry, for my bonus action, I do want to bring out um, Courtney. Okay. Um, so, uh, Rembrandt, <sighs> this... <laughs> big old dog is going to come at you and try to bite your leg. I don't think it's going to go though. Uh, 15 to hit. Nope. Cool. Okay. So he snaps at you and doesn't quite get it. Um, uh, Kaylee, you are next. All right. Well, I was going to shoot him, but now I guess I'm going to have to shoot the dog. (laughs) Going to shoot that dog. (laughs) So, not even 25 minutes in, guys. <laughs> gonna, gonna kill that dog. I guess I'm gonna have to kill the dog. 20. Uh, yeah, that the absolutely murder. absolutely hits the dog. He's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, roll roll damage. All right, so I pulled up on D and D Beyond a pistol, and it shows it was one d10. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Okay. I'm good with that. Plus four. 
So 12. 12, okay. Um, he whips around and you, you see all of a sudden his throat start glowing red. He's not going to do anything. No. Uh... <laughs> um, uh, Snips, okay. you are next. So if you want to, so you go ahead and roll. I'll give you the free action of rolling uh, investigate if you want to see her. Okay. Um, so. Wait, so he broke my grapple and got away? No, this is a dog. Oh, the dog. Yeah. Okay, I got a 12 for investigation. 12? Um, yep. You are... S- there's a lot happening um so you you are seeing people but they're you cannot quite tell if they're far enough away or if they're just like oblivious to what's happening no one is coming up close okay Um, so as of right now this is like a contained event yes as far as you can tell uh, snips is gonna run over and bite the dog (laughs) wild go for it (laughs) okay gonna bite um, that dog I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bite that dog so that's a 17 to hit that hits okay mm-hmm. okay that's nine points of damage <laughs> it's piercing because of my teeth got it Got it, got it. Amazing. Improvised weapon, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And, um, okay, so uh, the next up is uh, Knightley. So uh, so he is currently grappled. So in order to get that, it's a strength. Remind me how. Athletics versus athletics or acrobatics. Got it. Okay. So let's see. What's he gonna do? He's gonna give up. <laughs> he just goes limp. <laughs> right. Full dead fish. We won. Okay. Um, he rolled a nineteen to break the grapple. Uh, is it contested? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then acrobatics, right? Yeah. Uh, you have to make athletics if you're the one grappling him. Oh, athletics. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, even better. Yeah. Uh, Twenty five. Okay. He does not. He does not. Uh, so he is currently grappled. Um, I have expertise in athletics. So nice. Ooh, uh, Amazing. Look at that range go. He's a baseball. He's a baseball star. Okay. Now so he's. he's- uh incapacitated In damn Yankees. <laughs> amazing okay uh yeah so he can't do shit uh so he's but he is struggling he's just like get the fuck off of me um and uh that is gonna be leading the back lou <laughs> as lisa amazing uh i'm gonna hop out of this car um and i'm gonna look at that dog I want to cast Phantasmal Force on that dog. Okay. Um, so it's a, a DC 16 intelligence save. Um, and then I want to make it seem like uh, we have teleported the sheriff somewhere. Okay. So he's gone and he can't, and the dog can't see him. Okay. All right. This is, this is a dog. So not great. Intelligence. That's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he, all right, so yeah. Uh, all of a sudden, he just kind of sits and he just looks around and he kind of starts whimpering. And he's like, because ah, ah, his 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 master is not there, so he cannot John. see. Cannot hear, cannot see. We have teleported this guy somewhere else. Am I still biting him? <laughs> just chewing on his leg. Am I still biting the dog? Truly wild. Um insane um i would like uh who hasn't done it yet uh i would like could i oh yeah go ahead could i actually yeah 
can I actually do some movement? Yeah. And I want to move within five feet of the sheriff. Uh, and I want to say, oh my goodness, I have been, I, I, oh, oh, uh, there's some, something in my throat. Got it, got it. Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, Bailey, well, uh, we, uh, uh you're, how, uh, uh, how's it going, Sheriff? Roll deception with <laughs> so much disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Your funny ha has hurt yourself. <laughs> that was a good bit. It was a great bit. You're paying for it uh, now. What is my deception? <laughs> oh god, that's not good. Okay, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh 15. 15. Okay. Um let's just let's just see. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, I've been lo- he's staring. It's like, well, I've been looking for you. <laughs> just like. I know you, I know you have. You rolled a three. I know you have. That's why I've come and trying to hit you with my car. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, um, Cameron. That's why I hit you with my car, silly. Cameron, okay, I would like for you to roll me a D100. Oh, no. Forty-six. Forty-six. Um, all of a sudden, you say that, and then you start levitating. No. Uh, why am I floating on the ground? <laughs> um, Tez, you are next. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna try to hit him. Okay. A couple times. Uh, that. Probably hit 24 mm-hmm. uh, and a 20. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Great. Um, the uh, second one meets it. So uh, you just the first one hits. Right? How do we do it? I don't remember. I, I hate combat. It, I think it meets it. Meets it, beats it. it. Fine. Go ahead. Kill him. <laughs> Oh my god, don't kill him. Fine, kill him. He's got a 20 AC. He's not dying off two hits. He's Uh, not. 9 and a 14, so 20 tree damage. Cool. Uh, Cool. And then I will have Gortley with my uh, bonus attack. Let me see the tree. See if it's with weapon. When another creature within 30 feet of the drake, it can see hits with a weapon tech. Oh, uh, I will have Quotely use its bonus action to do another d6 of damage. Nice. Of lightning damage. Nice. Uh, three. So 27. Three. Uh, but then I will use my bonus action to uh, have Quotely attack the dog. Okay. Like, uh, I'll hold its whatever okay. for whenever the dog pops out oh hold its action for if the dog uh wakes the up dog hidden right yeah, the... yeah essentially if the dog shows aggression got it because you got um, it in, hip, in the hypnotic pattern or something right uh yeah he's the dog is in the hypnotic pattern <laughs> Uh, it's the fan. It's actually fa- uh, not hypnotic pattern. It's phantasmal, phantasmal force. Phantasmal force. Um, so does he? Is he able to do any kind of saving or on his turn or? Um, if he like senses something, so the wording of the spell is a little is a little. Oh, is he wild. Goosey? So the target rationalizes any illogical outcomes from interacting with the phantom. Um, for example, a target attempting to walk across uh, blah, 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 the effective target is so convinced of uh, the phantasm, the reality, that it can even take damage from the illusion and... Oh, wait, where's the thing? Uh, it can use its action to examine the phantasm with an intelligence investigation check uh, against my DC. If it succeeds, the target realizes that the phantasm is an illusion, and the spell ends. So, if it wants to, it can. Okay. Yeah. Try to see the nothing. Okay. 
I think that I, I think that it, he's kind of been in shock for this. I think he's going to try to like he's just going to like be looking around, but then if he fails it, he's leaving. So because he's going to go f- try to find oh. his master. Somebody get that dog. <laughs> so <laughs> should not run sixty feet away from me. Um, what's the DC? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. He is still kind of whimpering and looking a little sad um, until all of a sudden. No. On a nat 20. Silvery barbs. <laughs> okay. Make them barbs silver. Um, mm. Somebody get that dog. <laughs> Silvery Barbie. That stupid little dog is looking around. Stop. You Stop using your senses, dog. I don't know if you like this better, but that was a 17 with a negative 2. So he yes. got a 15. Yes. yes. And he yes. bolts. He runs. You, you know what that dog doesn't have? That dog <laughs> He don't have that dog in him. <laughs> no, he don't. don't, that don't. Anymore. He don't. So he starts running away. He runs away. How Thank you, David. <laughs> He's got a speed of 50 feet, so he runs 50 feet away. Well, let's hope he doesn't look back. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's... <laughs> he's, he's, he's out of my, my spells range. He's a dog. At, so. at 50 feet, he's still out? Uh, well, at 60 feet, but if he dashes... Am, well, am I still am I still to... bit into the dog? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it uses action to search, so it can only get fit six. Yeah, it can only get fifty feet. Um, uh-huh. So uh, roll a uh, snips. Go ahead and roll a um, dex uh, an acrobatics to see okay. if you stay attached to this dog. If you want to, you could. It's gonna run. So if you want to, I'm let gonna go. do my best to cling on to this dog. That's a 17. 17? Um, oh, gosh. That's, this is a dog running full, full speed. Yeah. So I think I that... I've in the butt, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I think that you actually stay attached longer than anybody expects it to, but you definitely... <laughs> it's like, like running. Rough and tumble off the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good, good. But it, you did roll high enough to actually not hurt yourself rolling. So, like, you managed to Perfect. do a little... Yeah, you put the shoulder down. S- superhero and... landing. <laughs> skid. <laughs> you skid across <laughs> the ground. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, okay, so the the dog is out of combat unless it is brought back in. Uh, Kaylee, you are next. Ah, well, uh, it's time to shoot the sheriff. I shot the sheriff. (laughs) But we murdered the deputies. Well, today. Yeah. uh, 19. 19. Um, So, I mean, if he's incapacitated, he can't. Oh, he can. It can still. if, If it doesn't meet his AC, though, he can still somehow avoid it. I don't know how he can avoid getting shot. Cameron, you are muted. I said, is he incapacitated? Well, he's grappled. He's grappled. Oh, oh it's, that just it's, means his speed is zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he manages to he he because his uh his AC is twenty, so he does manage to somehow squirm enough right. to. I'm gonna use a luck point to try to roll again and get a higher. Amazing. <laughs> Let's go. But I didn't, so never mind. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at grappled. It ends if the grappler is incapacitated. That's what happens. Okay. Uh, uh, that's what I'm looking at. Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to do? Uh, move around? Do anything? Going to hide in the van. Good call. Uh, roll hide. <laughs> roll yeah, some... cutting action hide. Um, where's my stone? Uh, Twenty-four. Yeah, you're... T- in there um okay perfect uh <laughs> snips you got dragged and now you are a little bit away from everything so what would you like to do uh um go ahead and roll 
<laughs> I should have had you roll animal handling, by the way. That that's that was a mistake on my part. But anyway, um, go ahead and <laughs> roll. Report. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's all report. Um, roll a uh, investigation as you're watching. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that this dog is not looking. It is single-mindedly running. Um, I'm going to roll and just see how lucky you were. Yeah, I rolled in that 20 for you. I rolled in that 20 for you, so it can't be useful for me. <laughs> Amazing. Mm. Okay. Nice. That a hundred percent hits. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, perfect. Okay. So after Snips, it is uh, it is Sheriff Knightley. So he is going to once again try to break that grapple. Let's see. Lisa's just right in front of him. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, no. Um, so uh, he did a 20. Yeah. I got a 21. All right. He doesn't. So once again, he's like, let go of me. That's just with an 11 on the die. What a I, good, what a good stat for this to be. I try. <laughs> she killed two of my officers. Let me go. <laughs> like he's just, just like. Tez is just like holding him and just like bonking him. Stop bonking me. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Stop! All right, all right, Lusa. What's uh, what's Lisa oh. doing? I look up at him, and I say, Sheriff, I think it's time to stop and talk. And then my irises just go, like, swirly. Um, like, literally, like, a hypnotic pattern, and I cast hypnotic... I use my hypnotic gaze feature right. on him. So what? that is a, a wisdom save of 14. Got it. He's even got a good wisdom saving and he did not make it. So, yeah. Right. He is incapacitated. His speed is zero. Mm -hmm. And I can main the effect indefinitely as long as I use my action. Uh, it ends if he cannot see me anymore or he takes damage. So I say, okay, nobody hurt him. He's frozen. We can take him back to the cottage. And we can tie him up, and then we can ask him questions. Yeah, put the handcuffs on him. Put his own handcuffs on him and take the key. Can I object and Arash can put his handcuffs on him? Uh, roll, uh, yeah, do, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. I was going to say sleight of hand, but yeah, no, go ahead. You're just digging through his pockets, so loot the live body. His <laughs> loot the live body, take it out, put his hands in front of him, and... Yeah. Bad boy. All right. So um, you guys are out of initiative for the time being. <laughs> Do you want to pick him up and put him in the back and I can just stare at him? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pick him up. And then once can you make he... sure that his head looks at me the entire time? Sure. Uh, okay, while. Lisa. <laughs> All right, Lisa. This is That's some Willy right. Wonka shit going on. That's right, right Blackbird. <laughs> Agent Blackbird, you're doing so well. Uh, so then, yeah, so we get him in the van. Um, I'm trying to think. What I think we're missing someone. <laughs> Who? Little green guy. 
No, Snipsis is bringing up the rear, right? I thought we were I don't know where he is. Now. He ran away on a dog. <laughs> no, he was like 20 feet away, dude. I can't see him. I'm looking at this man. Is he okay, okay? Okay, okay? Snips, are you okay? Come on. Okay, I will run to the van and I will hop in the van. I'll go boo. <laughs> I'll I'll be I'll be sitting at the van side panel door uh, with I my scream. backpack open. <laughs> Did that break eye contact? No. <laughs> he has to see me. I can blink. Oh, that's right. You just have your eyes wide open screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I can look as long as he can see me. He's just enthralled by Lisa. I do. A sentence nobody thought they'd hear. I do suddenly want Waterloo to be a fainting satyr. <laughs> And whenever he gets screams at him and catches him off guard. <laughs> whenever he gets startled, he just freezes. <laughs> he just stiffens up and falls over. He's a okay, fainting well, once, we, well, once we have him in the van, then he's fine, right? Because he's he's handcuffed. So I think Tesla. I think once, we should. I think, think Tesla once him. again take his headband off and tie it like. Railroad girl style across God, the mouth. His feet too. Somebody needs to bind his feet. What? Um, I don't have anything. What about what? that kimono got... you're wearing? I have rope. Cool. Okay, and I'll take the I'll take the the rope and yeah. tie it with a I think a twenty slide of hand. Yeah, twenty slide, dirty twenty slide of hand. Yeah, you got it. It's yeah um great so um there was an original plan to go to the skating rink and make amends uh but now you have the sheriff of the town uh tied no no up no, no, no i hey test 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 i don't want you to not do your thing like i can keep him like this for hours so you let's go stop by the Why skating did you rink. You say it rink. like that. <laughs> I'm really in the character, okay? Just in case there's any scrying okay. eyes looking at us. Okay. Um, okay. This character of my maniacal plan succeeding me, Lisa, looks around. <laughs> okay. While we're at the sheriff's station, because I'm assuming the sheriff has a radio, right? Yeah. Okay. So while we're at the sheriff's station, what we could do, because we know that his mirror is in his office. Let's have the sheriff, like, impersonate the sheriff, find that voice, um, and then maybe use call his radio to say, calling all cars, all, all officers respond, I've got Lisa cornered in a barn on the outskirts of town. Here's the thing, Tess. I know you're very focused on this mission, but nothing matters if we don't have love. <laughs> and I can feel that connection between you and that girl, and I don't think we should take another I'm, step until one, you I'm go not, to the bowling alley and talk to her. I'm, shush, 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 shush. I'm on my way to the bowling her. alley. <laughs> I'm also, driving the van to the bowling alley currently. <laughs> Should also, you weren't else. at the police station. You were in a random, like, parking <coughs> lot in between uh, apartment buildings. But, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Okay, so we're not radioing an entire police I think station? We, we, we can do that after we've talked to him. Because it seems like this guy is a lone wolf, right, Tez? It seems like he goes off on his own, investigates shit on his own. Because he was not at the police station when those two cops died because they killed them. Yep. Yeah. So I don't think we... I think we have time, darling. Okay. So I'll go to the bowling alley, I guess. Okay. All right. So Waterloo can interrogate the sheriff in the parking lot. He can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to stare at him while you go in there. Do, doing the running man in the van? <laughs> no, she's doing the she's doing the dancing baby from Alice. I'm very excited that Tessa's finding love. 
I think you two should... Are you guys going to go in there and help him? I don't think he's the best flirt. Yeah. Who goes... Does anybody go in with Tez? I'll go. (laughs) I've been told I'm not good at it. Well, Snips, there's nachos in there. I'm going in. (laughs) (laughs) Immediately. So yeah, while Tez is distracting Kara, I'm going to go sneak in the back and eat as many nachos as I can find. (laughs) All right, I'm going to give Bardic Inspiration to Snips. (laughs) And I Um, guess I can give it to Tez too. It's fine. All right. (laughs) All right. Um, I would like for you guys to uh, Thank you for yes. not making me big. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Snips, go ahead and roll me stealth as you uh, sneak back. Um, Kaylee, where do you do you like sit along the side of like the counter or like where do you go? Oh, I'm right by Tess's side. <laughs> Amazing. All right, <laughs> Snips, how bad was it? A five. <laughs> Hey, you got Bardic. Oh, what does that do? Remind me. It adds a 1d6 if you want to use it. Okay. Hold on. And guidance. And you got some guidance, which is a d4. uh, D4. Amazing. It's now an 11. All right. Um, (laughs) All right. Uh, Yeah, you get back there. There's a lot of screaming children and uh, a lot of this stuff. Um, You see this, like, glass container that's holding, like, little weird trays of chips. And then right next to it, you see this weird, like, (laughs) metal box. And then it has, like, a thing. It looks like... You could push it, um, and cheese might come out of it. So I'm going to pull my little hood up on my cloak and just very casually, like, walk past, <laughs> walk past the, the counter while, while Tez and uh, Kaylee are, like, and it's just, like, beeline, like, super rigid, <laughs> like, walking past them. Um, and then I'm going to search for some sort of receptacle, um, hopefully, like, a big popcorn bucket or something. Um, you find not a big popcorn bucket, but like one of those old school ones that are like tall and like kind of square, but they have like the scalloped edges around it. Um, yes. but it looks something that you could actually hold in your hand. Okay. I'm going to take turns putting chips in, then <laughs> pressing the cheese button, <laughs> put more chips in, <laughs> press the cheese button. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like gonna layer myself some nachos in this popcorn bucket. Uh, please, <laughs> please that, roll. No. Go. That was an roll. eleven for stealth, right? Yeah, yeah, I didn't say it was good. I just some no one stopped okay. me. I no, I yeah. Tess sees this because his passive perception is seventeen, and he's like, "Oh my god, I never thought of that." Sips is a fucking genius. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> Um, go ahead and roll sleight of hand just to see how well you okay. handle this process. I'm also going for those jalapenos too afterwards. <laughs> That's an eight. It's bad. <laughs> like you're kind of burning yourself a little bit because like the yeah. cheese kind of gets on you. And but this is all <laughs> happening behind Kara's back, uh, which is very funny. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, Kara absolutely sees you walk in and then very purposefully just like, whatever <laughs> yeah just, and then i'm gonna go sit on one of the stools by the uh pinball machines and eat my like <laughs> my magnum opus <laughs> you look a heart attack and waiting yeah so good there's so like a pile a of pickled jalapenos on there <laughs> so i'm gonna shove he's never he's had, he's had any sort of processing i'm shoving tez in processing. the direction of kara just Go I, I'm tell you, to I, her. I, I am. I will. On my time. Right? Hey. Kara. So. 
I know it sounded insane, what I told you on the phone, but it's 100% true. So you'd rather babysit an old, absolutely fucked out of his head satyr than, like, hang out with me, is what you told me. One, well, well, that is an interpretation, and I respect your point of view. I, (laughs) you see that, small. (laughs) <laughs> see that, that small the help child? action by hitting him when he says stupid things yes every single time <laughs> oh jesus all right so, okay so you see that small child that kind of looks like a kermit the frog fucked a rat yeah very accurate description yeah that, i did notice that's I did notice that little person stealing from us a hundred percent, but no, he stole from Dave. Let's be honest. He stole from Dave. That's the only reason I let it happen. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. (laughs) I'm just on the same page. Uh, no, that's my new best friend. Don't tell Ryan. I would do anything for him. And he was drugged by Waterloo. And so I had to make sure that his tiny little body didn't get lost in the Furbies. Water can I can I hear this? Quarter. Roll uh 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 how uh roll what's your passive? I'm not trying to hide. yeah I'm not trying to hide anything so probably yeah. yeah what's your passive perception? Um, let me see, a fourteen. Yeah 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 I think you okay. did. So while with like my mouth full of nachos, I'm gonna overhear Tez talking about how I was drugged by Waterloo, and I'm just without even being asked, I'm just gonna go yeah he fed me a mushroom. <laughs> um, it was bad. Roll, uh, roll <laughs> persuasion with advantage. Yes. <laughs> Tez. No, Tez. <laughs> good. Good. Okay. Okay. It's a good one. Yes. Thirteen on the die, and then it's a yours is six, right? For yeah, the artist. Six. Yeah, ah, I got a six! Uh, 19. You see <laughs> the look on her face kind of soften a little bit, because that's cute as hell. Um, <laughs> and Okay. He was in the kitty corner. He was in the kitty corner. I don't, like... It sounds like you're making saying something weird. Is it like lit like literally? It's there's a bunch of Furbies and Beanie Babies, and he even has some of those. You know those uh, the the muscle sharks that stand up on oh. feet. He's got some of those. I don't. It's like the most terrifying collection of toys, and he calls it the Kitty Corner. There's some Although, called I don't a Polly know. Pocket in there too. <laughs> Are are children even allowed in that building? Because they, sh- they really shouldn't be. They really shouldn't be. There, and there's also a spider monster in there. I know this sounds like I'm okay. Just filling no, out no, a no. Way. Fuck you. Fuck you. No his way. His name is Bilby. Kara. His name is Bilby. He was given sentience. <laughs> what is wrong? <sighs> And I don't get any closer, by the way. I'm still shouting <laughs> across the, like I'm a part of the conversation. He's been given sentence. From across the room. Uh, Kara looks, finally, like, really looks at you, Kaylee, and goes, is he full of shit? No, he's telling the truth. He's telling it really awkwardly and badly, but he's telling the truth. I swear to God, I'm trying my best. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, she's like, she's like, um, without, I, I don't think, I don't think Tez has it in him to have this, but Kaylee, I think you get the impression that she's like, yeah, it's kind of cute. <laughs> he's, he's bad at this and it's kind of cute. <laughs> like, yeah, right. Tez is just like, 
Uh, he's like, hey, do you, have you seen Dave? I just want to kind of pick up my last check. Is he in his office? Why would it be your last check? Oh, I just totally left work yesterday. Uh, I just assumed Dave probably fired me. Seems like he's been waiting for a reason. No, I said there was an emergency with your family. Oh, okay. Tight. Um, oh, shoot. That means I have to work tonight then. Uh, all right, I mean, you can you. still you can still quit. I'm just saying that's like up to you. Yeah, maybe I'll go quit. Uh, I'm gonna go see if he's in his office, and then I want to go behind the. What do you say, teenage mutant ninja turtle? Teenage min- teenage ma- teenage mutant ninja turtle pinball machine. <laughs> so you push like the tilt buttons at the same time, both of them, and the whole thing moves to the side and reveals a secret door. This is a special uh, yeah. arcade. And, and then I go back there and see if I can find Dave. Okay. All right. Um, By any chance, do I see this secret door open with the vantage point of where I am sitting? Um. Yeah, I'll say you do. Because you also yeah, are watching your friend go that way. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm about probably to just drop my me. popcorn bucket of nachos and bolt as fast as I can for the secret door. This is going to be a new shirt, guys. Uh, popcorn bucket of nachos. <laughs> I want to catch the nachos. <laughs> uh, do a uh, 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 slide of hand. That's what I'm going to call it. Slide of hand? Yeah. I can do that. <laughs> That's my best bet. 25. Yay! You catch it. It doesn't, nothing spills even. Like, it's this amazing you had a second because i got like cheesy fingers <laughs> it kind of slides a little bit and then, uh, <laughs> gross <laughs> awful um kaylee do you uh follow along into this uh secret door no i'm gonna stay out here eat some nachos and talk to kara amazing okay um great so we'll go with uh tez and snips for a second then um Tez, you go in. Uh, Snips, are you trying to be stealthy at all, or are you just following? Oh, I would like to be as stealthy as possible. Okay, go I'm ahead searching roll. for things to grab. <laughs> go ahead and roll stealth. Okay. That is a nat one. <laughs> You're so sticky. You're literally screaming. I'm so sticky. Yeah, I'm, I'm too excited. <laughs> you, you are especially excited because um tez you uh as you go in there's not really a door again like because it's literally covered by a pinball machine so uh snips you follow behind tez and you just see this cavern of like this like this like not even a cavern but this like office that is just covered in shiny things and like like 80s video game memorabilia and just like (laughs) there's there's pac-man ghosts everywhere and like mario power stars and it's just like all this like crazy shit and also like legitimate jewelry star wars (laughs) there's nerdy treasures and then there's just actual treasure (laughs) there's like there's like jewels and like coins and all kinds of stuff so yes um tez you walk in and you see you see dave and he looks up and goes where were you? Hey, man, I quit. You quit? Yep. Yep. Quit. Can I get my last? Can I get my last? <laughs> can I get my last check? Last check? Yeah. Dinero, mula, money. Money. That you yeah. owe me. You oh, yeah, um, and he kind of turns around and goes, and he'll he like he like writes out a check for you. Can I roll some sort of arcana or um, uh, uh, what's it called it uh, like perception to see if I or investigation? I mean, to see if I see anything that looks like maybe the spider necklace or the mirror. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and, yeah, if you're looking for magical things, definitely Arcana. Yes. 17 on the die. Where is my Arcana? Oh, plus zero. 17. 
17. Um, okay. For, uh, there's a lot, and there are some things that are kind of magical, but you're seeing them and they are like, it's, it sucks that it's real, but it's like gemstones that like actually like help your chakra. <laughs> like, it's like, ah, oh, shit, obsidian does something. <laughs> like, it, you're getting that vibe. <laughs> it's like, all right. Yeah. Um, and you, uh, I will say with a 17, you do get a pretty strong vibe off of a wooden box um, that is kind of tucked away on his desk. Uh, I will leave it up to you if you want to do anything with that. Uh, Snips, did you want to do investigation too? I want to check with Snips really quickly. Yes, please. I'd like to look for anything that is more on my eye level that is shiny and worth grabbing. Go ahead. So you roll and Tez. Yeah, what would you like to do? I'm going to roll while he's turned around, pass without trace. Okay. On me and... And Snips. 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 That is a 16. 16. Um, uh, you see on your level, like, there, there are, like, treasure chests with, like, things falling out of it. It's like, it's like this is a dumb room t- to be in this Can place. Can I point to the box? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm uh, going to try to point snips to, like... Yeah. There's a, to tell me not to. It's a Don't little... too snag it. I'm trying to communicate. Oh yeah, snag. good. I'm gonna take it. Okay. If there's like Mardi Gras beads or shiny rocks or anything, I'll take them, all of them. Cool. Yeah. With you, my grubby little cheese hands. There's bobbles. There's bits and bobbles all over the place. So. Uh, <laughs> and you've got past that trace right now. So, um, go ahead and uh, snips. Please roll me sleight of hand. Okay. <laughs> that is a natural twenty yeah no one knows no one can see you got you're like actually like weighed down now with stuff <laughs> you, you like you I have, have like a small necklaces. bag and it's full of yeah, stuff he, he puts his uh tez puts his backpack down to like and then motions for snips to like get in yeah uh, he definitely is wearing some, like, plastic Mardi Gras beads. He's probably got those big, goofy sunglasses on that are, like, plastic but gold on the outside. Mm-hmm. Um, for the sake of, of the previous iteration, he found a green rock that is now lovingly called Snot Rock. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so everything. The little treasure chest is in Tez's bag. Um, any, I probably assume there's, like, a metal slinky. Yeah. Uh, that is it's, shiny. So there's a slinky in Tez's backpack. It's now. rainbow colored, 100%. It's that painted yep. uh, metal. Yeah, 100%. Yep. It's got that like opalescent look. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, trying to think of other things. I'm probably going to steal this man's like gold copy of like the original Legend of Zelda NES case. No, that's a way higher. Not knowing it's valuable. That's oh, a, it's higher up. That's, a, that's higher up and also a much higher DC. <laughs> I understand. Gotcha. I get it. I get he it. knows. Respect it. I respect it. He knows. Um, yeah, no. I'm just going to steal anything that I can. So, like, the, as many things on these bottom two shelves <laughs> as I can see. Yeah. Yeah. There's some absolute trash that you get, for sure. Um, but, yeah, you get some actual value things. And uh, um, and just lots of shiny stuff. Uh, and, and snot rock. We snot love, rock. We love snot rock. We love snot rock. Okay. That's a real important thing. Um, yeah. So uh, Dave hands you over uh, the check, your last, your last check, um, and doesn't really say anything. He's just like, "Thanks, Dave." Uh, and then as I, as I'm about like to turn the corner, I'm like, "Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to tell you, or really I wanted to show you." And then he pulls his hand out of his pocket and. <laughs> And I say, and I say, repeat that. I say, repeat that back. And he's like, <laughs> all right, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> just so doesn't care. Like he had no emotions about it. He's just a kenku. 
<laughs> he says whatever. Um, I'm gonna head back to the man. Um, so while all this is happening, uh, Kaylee, you are sitting uh, at the counter basically with Kara. She gets you whatever you would like to have for a drink or a snack. Um, kind of passes your way and goes, okay, so what? What is happening? Well, it's a big to-do. Uh, we're trying to figure out what's going on. There's spider monsters and... Oh, you have such lovely skin. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And I'm 100% flirting with Tez's crush just to fuck with Tez. <laughs> she, um... <laughs> Kara, by the way, who I've never who I've never described physically, is a uh, more on the on the short side, um, Asian Asian girl. That's because she's like, I mean, I I got a job here for a reason. Like, they like me here. Um, mm -hmm. and she's just like, she's like, oh, thank you. I love your hair. You're oh my gosh. You need this? to you need to come in here more. Why you're like never in here? Why are you in here? Why aren't you in here? I just haven't been, I've been too busy doing other things, but I mean, I could show up more. Oh my God, you absolutely should. Um, it's 100% vibing back. Um, can, I roll, if, can I roll an inside check as I walk up? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's pretty good. 16 plus, dude, one second. I should know this already. 23. So I feel like I for sure pick up on what's going on. Yeah, there's vi Yeah, there's absolutely like like now, <laughs> as far as you can tell, yeah, like your new friend is trying to pick up your girl? Question mark? <laughs> like what? Is, what is? You, do you guys know each other? Oh, hey Tess, let's go. You ready? What? Got to check. Bye, Kaylee. Yeah, yeah, Tess. yeah. Let's go. I'll talk to you. We'll talk later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Um, do you like you know Kaylee? <laughs> hmm? No, she just she came is. in. She's so cool. I'm so glad you have such a cool you guys friend. Guys have never talked before. No. <laughs> These few minutes. Wild. Uh, and then Ted's just like, kind of like, all right, later. <laughs> Bye. And as Ted's. As Tez walks out of the bowling alley, he thinks again, once once again to himself, God, I hope this isn't the real one. <laughs> Awful. Um, <laughs> so funny. So yeah, Tez, you walk out of being like, no one can be trusted. This is every, no one. Yeah, he's not even like, he just, I don't think he even necessarily feels like he's betrayed by Kaylee. He's just kind of confused how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> and like so fast like it took months for Kara to be like let's hang out and Kaylee just walked in and was like on it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. got that good charisma mm -hmm. got that riz she's, she's got that riz as the kids say <laughs> as the kids say w, w riz guys <laughs> Kaylee, Kaylee's got that dog in her <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got that L Riz. <laughs> so bad. Um, I just learned what Riz was a couple weeks ago, and I'm so old. Uh, anyway, okay. So uh, you guys all make it back to find uh, <laughs> Lisa looking soulfully into Knightley's eyes. Just like... Hey. Hey. So I got everybody out of the van. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. What did you do for with... For a couple of minutes. Yeah, what it was... Um, so while they were gone on their little mission, I think Lisa kind of broke it down for the sheriff. Okay. And, you know, Sheriff Knightley, I've never really enjoyed you. Just still Lisa, but just totally dropping the weird voice. Yeah. And when we take you back to the cottage and we learn all of your secrets and we kill you and we take your mirror from your office then Lisa will be the one who's blamed. Because your deputies are never finding your body. I would love for you to cooperate with us, but 
we've actually already located the third mirror. So really, there's no use for you besides <laughs> what you think you can give us. I'm just glad that two of my biggest problems in this town will finally be dealt with. Oh, look, they're my friends. Can he do anything? He's completely, is he even aware of what you just said? He's incapacitated, which means he can't take actions or react uh, or yeah. can't take any action. So no actions, no bonus actions. He can like, he could probably talk. Um, he can't he also has he got, a movement. He got zero. gagged, so he, yeah, but he got gagged. I think he's just staring at you like, "What is wrong with you, <laughs> Jesus?" I know you're being controlled by some otherworldly being who communicates with you via mirror, and you also want your daughter to be real and your wife to come back to you. But unfortunately. This reality is not for you, darling. So I really hope you find it in the next one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God! Y'all are the villains. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I'm a tiny villain wearing six slap bands per arm. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a 90s Xena warrior princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, giant glasses. Um, all right. Uh, so, um, uh, do you make sure you don't say any of that while there? Do you finish your little villain speech yeah. before they get in the car? Okay. Um, 100%. <laughs> great. Okay. So yeah, you guys get back in. Um, Waterloo, go ahead and roll me some insight just to get the general vibe of like the feel of like what is happening. You look different. Guidance. Ooh, that's not good. That's 11. <laughs> you got an 11? Uh, you noticed that... I got an 11. You noticed that um, Tez is quiet, but he's also... Like, sometimes he's just quiet. Like, that's kind of Tez. Uh, you do notice that, that Snips is just weighed down with a ton of stuff. Uh... <laughs> and there's stuff peeking out of of uh, Tez's backpack, and say, and Kaylee's looking is... kind of pleased with herself. <laughs> I'm I must say, this nacho. view is deliciously punk rock. I don't know what that means, but I'm certain you're using it in the wrong context. Uh, me. I get, get back to the seventies, darling. <laughs> I get in the van, and uh, I. Try to uh, open the chest. Okay. Um, uh, it's locked. Uh, so um, there's... there. Oh, you mean the, like, the thing that was kind of radiating magic? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Um, yeah, it's a little... It's got a little lock on it. Um, it's not a... Yeah, it's like small. It's like a wooden box. Not so much a chest, but like a little wooden box. Um, I'll be happy um, to unlock that for you. Yeah, if you... Please. Thank you. And then Tez mutters to himself, no wonder she's so good with her fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like it. That's yellow. <laughs> oh, 15. Uh, 15. Okay. Hey, it's <laughs> Pride Month, baby! Almost. Yeah. When this airs, it might be. Oh, that's true. It will be. Yes. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Around. We're, we're uh, filming this the last week of May. So, um... Okay, yeah, uh, it pops open. And let me see. Oh no, there's a trap. <laughs> Shit, no, the sheriff. Tesda. It's, it's maybe isn't a trap. Um, uh, Just might know what it is. Uh, so as you open it, um, there is a pile of cards. Oh, no. Um, they look like they're actually like, they're kind of, um, they're thin, but they're not made of like playing card material. They're actually like almost like a shell, uh, or an ivory. So, um, they're very, very fancy, um, and are giving off 
just a magical aura. Um, Tez grabs it and immediately grabs it apart. <laughs> no. Um, I will say that as you open it, because uh, I will be very <laughs> serious about this one. Um, so as you um, open the lid, on the inside of like the top of the lid, it does say the rules, uh, which is you have to announce how many cards you are going to draw. And the mm. uh, the deck of many things will, uh, you can only draw the, each card one at a time. But if you say that you're going to draw, that you have to draw whatever the cards you say. You're card you say. <laughs> a player must first declare how many cards in the deck of many things they will pull. Can I roll an arcana check? 100%. Each player pulls Guidance. that number of cards. Uh, I'm gonna do two cards. Ten. With a, for Arcana, you rolled a ten on Arcana. Yeah. You're like, mm -hmm. you're like, I've. This feels like something I should know. And uh, but I'm not gonna stop him. <laughs> I don't know that. I mean, if you want to do a wisdom, uh, a, a wisdom check, I will allow that. Um, oh, that's amazing. That is 25. 25 wisdom. You uh, you know this is a powerful, magical thing. You just didn't know if it's good or bad. So uh, with a 25, you're definitely like, oh, this is uh, this is a lot. <laughs> this is this is maybe not this a good idea. It's <laughs> so chaos, darling. So it's up to you with that with that wisdom. You get to choose if he's you're going to let him draw, or you or you anybody can do else. Whatever draw. you want. Amazing. Yeah, man of action. Amazing. Um, I'm gonna pause for a second because I have a physical oh. deck, so I'm going to get it. <laughs> so, mm. yay! <laughs> I swear to God, if you just leave, if I yeah, if I get soul jar, it'll be pretty miserable. Huh? Or donjon. <laughs> oh. Ridiculous. Multiple ones can do that to you. Good luck. Also, um, as Tez is like reading the instructions, Snips is going to like slowly scoot over to Lou and like tap him on the side and then offer him a pair of shiny round rhinestone sunglasses from his <gasps> bag. Oh, and he's just kind of going to look up at him and go, I'm really sorry I bit the other ones. Oh my goodness. All is forgiven, darling. It takes a big man to apologize. And I'll as and before one. he takes him, he just goes, "Am I still selfish?" What? Who's ever told you you were selfish? You said I was selfish. I would never say that to you, darling. You're just you a child. gaslighting this little goblin. <laughs> oh, roll for right. gaslighting. Do I remember? <laughs> Do I remember if he called me selfish? Roll, now? roll deception. Uh, <laughs> was mine like a history? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dirty 20. Two, you never called me selfish. Why would I ever say that to you? I love you so dearly. You are the and, light of my life. And he just hands you the sunglasses and he just goes, maybe Dream Lou is mean to me. Oh, <laughs> dreams, especially in this climate, can be so unforgiving. <laughs> But yeah, they're fancy and rhinestone. <laughs> you have a new unbroken, Ooh, unbitten nice. pair of sunglasses. I love them so much. <laughs> I wear them everywhere. <laughs> I just tuck them on my shirt and they kind of like go into the illusion because <laughs> I feel like I have to keep my eyes on available for the sheriff. All right, everybody. The swirling just <laughs> on um, my eyes. Disgusting. Is anybody else, as he's read these instructions out loud... Is anybody else tempted? Uh, Snips yeah. is going to peek in the box to see the cards and look at Tez and be like, what's these things? The cards, you draw them. Pull them out. All right. Uh, Tez, you get to choose. I have shuffled them. But would you like to draw from the top, the bottom? We're going to do one at a time, obviously. So top, bottom, middle. Uh... One top, one bottom. Okay. Top first. We have 
balance the balance card which i can only imagine don't, don't sound good. well <laughs> let me just read you what balance is your mind suffers a wrenching alteration causing your alignment to change lawful becomes oh, no. chaotic good becomes oh, evil no. and vice versa if you are true neutral or unaligned this card has no effect on you so i was gonna say i don't think he's the paladin he's no, not a paladin. A ranger he's a ranger oh oh that's right oh I would i'm say sorry i was thinking about the other life i think you probably goes from chaotic to lawful neutral amazing oh, so okay. as you all see this as he draws this card it flips and disappears that could have been real bad well we got one more this so... is probably a little more afraid of the of breaking the law now this bottom one is the void <laughs> <laughs> It's all funny games until the deck of many things. Well, somebody out. draws the void! Yes. <laughs> what a wild story this has been. Go on, read it. This black card spells disaster. Your soul is drawn from your body and contained in an object in a place of the DM's choice. One or more powerful beings guard the place. While your soul is trapped in this way, your body is incapacitated. A wish spell can't restore your soul, but the spell reveals the location of the object that holds it. You draw no more cards. Thank God, because... <laughs> so all of a so sudden... He drops. He's incapacitated. Tez? Tez? He's dead! Tez? What happened, Tez? Tess, we need you to drive the van. What are you doing? We need to go. We've kidnapped the sheriff. Tess, hello, darling. Wake Tez? up. Tess? Snips, I would He's like dead. for you to roll a religion check, please. Okay. With advantage guidance. and guidance. That is an 18. With guidance as well? With so, guidance, yes. With guidance, okay. Um, with an 18, um, you have a flash of the little man with no name. The baby man. Up to you. Do you think you would try to call out? Or... If that's the first thing I see after Tez just like... <laughs> is just gone yes immediately okay i would attempt to try and contact baby man <clears throat> okay what would you say to baby man make it good okay yeah. uh snips just kind of sits there after seeing it and then he's kind of gonna like scurry to the back of the van and sit there and like get really quiet in the corner and go baby man you didn't tell me your name I want to know you. Well, you told me my name, but it sounded like a bunch of gobbledygook weirdness. Our friend's gone. I think. I don't think he's dead. I haven't checked his pulse. I need to do that. It's on the list of to-dos. I saw you. Did you kill him? We need our friend back. My legs are too small to drive the van. Um, do you offer anything? Because you do remember that the last time something came through... Uh, you had an offering of chips. Yes. Okay. Um, Tez, is he still wearing his backpack? Yeah. I am immediately going to like scurry over to Tez's incapacitated body, reach in his backpack and grab like probably like a Game Boy and um, the pack of half eaten hot Cheetos. And then I'm going to scurry back to my little corner in which Kaylee and Lou can see me just like huddled down in the corner. And he like is holding, he goes, I got spicy chips this time. They're good. They're good if you clean your fingers first, then go in, you get more stuff that way. Uh, and then this has shinies, but I found out if you press buttons, it turns on when you might like those things. 
I have more in my bag if this is not enough, but please. Tez is nice to me. And again, I cannot reach the pedals of the van. <laughs> Roll. I feel like we go ahead. need to stop playing around. Roll persuasion with advantage. Thank you. <laughs> and if anybody wants to try to help, I will allow Guidance. that. I don't know what you're doing, but whatever. Guidance. I got a natural 20 with advantage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Snips always comes in with that clutch nat 20. This Coming is... in clutch! Um, uh, you see the Game Boy is picked up, turned on, uh, and there's that. Uh, and there's... I, at, with a nat 20, everybody, except for Tez, hears giggling. <laughs> uh, Kaylee, this is familiar oh. giggling. Uh, Waterloo, this is... Although you didn't really remember, this has like a... You're like, this feels familiar um Ooh, hello and then for what you guys see you see so it says were you you were in the driver's seat right and you just like where were you okay all right so what everyone else sees you're muted by the way <laughs> sorry yeah, i was probably in the middle between the driver and the pa front passenger. Okay, were is you... Is the sheriff still like incapacitated? Face, I was facing the... the sheriff is, yes. Okay. You were, were you, were you facing uh, towards everybody else or were you kind of how were you? Yeah, I was facing towards everybody Got else. Got it. Okay, so everyone else, you guys see all of a sudden he basically go, like his whole body just goes convulses forward like like somebody slammed into his chest and Tez comes back. What in the world did you do, boy? Woo! Tez. What the fuck okay. just happened? <laughs> Tez, um, what you experienced <laughs> was this kind of floaty thing. Like, it was very weird. Uh, you, your soul left your body. You were watching everything. Um... And then you were suddenly trapped, um, but you could hear water. So it's like you were under something. There was water above you, and you heard you heard it move. You heard movement of water. Um, and you heard what sounded to be like a conversation but it was almost like you were hearing it through a wall. Um, so you couldn't really hear what the words were, but you could hear the tone and you heard a small child's voice and you heard your wife's voice. And it sounded like your wife was almost pleading to this child. There was a, there was definitely a tone of that um entreating something um and then you hear this kind of noise of like ah! <laughs> like is this like this noise of like hey okay. and uh you at that point you feel a huge pressure on your chest as you are pulled back in and you just like fly through space and are suddenly back in your body in the van with an incapacitated sheriff nightly um and holding a wooden box with some cards that you can't tell uh if that was a good or a bad thing what are you what are you doing tez stop playing around we need to leave nobody's fucking S playing Snips is immediately gonna run over, um, grab the box from Tez's hands, and like toss it in the passenger seat and just hug him. Uh, yeah, Tez hugs back. <laughs> yeah, and then Snips is gonna like with watery eyes just hug Tez and then look at Lou and Kaylee and go, "Nobody ever talks shit about the baby man, ever." Who? Well, what is the baby man? Was that the giggling? The giggling is a good thing. He's the reason why Tez isn't dead. 
Tested. I gave him my hot Cheetos in a game. Oh, dude, you gave my game away? I must say... It was worth it, I'm sorry. I had such a good I... score on Tetris. I, I understand. Did you die, Tez? I don't know. I wasn't gonna chance it. I didn't check his pulse. I probably should have. Okay, that was cool. weird. I draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> she said it. it. Is an audio. I, that was too quick. I can't Just, even. That was me. Weird. Jess is in shock. Like, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> All right. Seven with me, y'all. Seven with What game are we playing? That's Why weird. are we playing a card? card? Uh, top, bottom, or middle? Just give me the, the very middle. Very middle. Okay. We're gonna die. <laughs> oh, she's gonna get a wish. That'd be amazing. Kay Kaylee needs it. Kaylee? <laughs> Kaylee needs it. Uh, I will say that the uh, five E gods are smiling down on Kaylee today because she received the comet. Uh, if you single-handedly defeat the next hostile monster or group of monsters you encounter, uh, I mean, it doesn't really do anything uh, because this is not, we don't do experience points here, but I will give you something. Uh, if you uh, defeat the next hostile monster or group of monsters, you gain experience points enough to gain one level. Otherwise, this card has no effect. Oh, but I will, high. we don't do experience levels of points here, but uh, at my table, but I will find a treasure for you. So... Yes, you receive the comet. Ooh, you have this, like, pretty. you read yeah. it, and you just have this feeling of, like, empowerment. It's like, maybe it's the flirting with the girl. Like, maybe, <laughs> like, you just feel good. And and the card disappears into nothing. Why Why are we huh. playing with cards? What's so special about these cards? I take the cards and I draw one. <laughs> I, I draw a card. Let me draw yeah, one of these. No one can stop themselves. Why are we all playing with cards? Top model, uh, top, Snips bottom, or middle. Very, of top, very, very top. Okay. I want that first one. I take it. You got the knight. Oh, no. This, God, this is a nightmare. Oh, my God. <laughs> a literal nightmare. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can it be a hillbilly knight? Thousand percent. Uh, so for anybody who better. doesn't know what the knight is, uh, where have you been? Um, uh... <laughs> Waterloo is, gains the service of a fourth level fighter who appears in a space uh, that he chooses within 30 feet of him. Uh, the fighter is of the same race as you. It is going to be another hillbilly satyr um, and serves you loyally until death, believing the fates have drawn them to you. You control this character. So I the caveat is it has to be a hillbilly satyr because obviously. So all of a sudden... Um. <laughs> This little guy just appears in the van next to Waterloo. Nah. Does the van like jerk because yeah. there's an extra person yeah. in the van? It definitely <laughs> bounces. <laughs> what? Who? What? Draw a card. The cards are chaos. Draw one. I mean, me? Yes, you. It's part of the initiation. Can <laughs> I mean, of course. You don't have to do that. Say, you don't have to cards. do that. Just say you draw three cards. Please don't. Lou is the Lou is the evil one. He's the big bad. <laughs> Y'all, Cameron is always the bad guy. That's the thing. <laughs> um, we got I'm, a free guy to draw cards. I'm getting I'm getting real conflicting conflicting vibes here. You want here. to stay here right now? Draw three. Say you draw three. I think while this is happening, the reason that Snips isn't stopping him is because Tez has like gone into a full breakdown and is shaking the tied up sheriff and is like, What do you know about the baby man? I need to see my wife. I heard her voice and it was too much. I need where's the fucking baby man? All right. Three cards. Uh, I guess I guess I'll draw I guess I'll draw three cards, whatever that means. Um ah, you said it, that means you have to do it. It's part of the rule. All right. Well, uh this one this one's a little this one's a little disturbing. Um it's flames. Uh so uh, a powerful devil becomes my enemy. Uh the devil <laughs> seeks your ruin and plagues your life, savoring your suffering before attempting to slay you. Uh the 
enmity lasts until either uh you or the devil dies um so surprise the devil is lou <laughs> <laughs> Hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, y'all, y'all told me to do this. All right. Okay. Um. Well. Uh. uh next is is a uh, is is Don John. Oh no. Well. Oh, thank God. Thank goodness. I I he, he's I just straight up disappear and become entombed in an extra dimensional sphere. Uh. Everything uh I'm wearing and carrying stays behind. I'm just naked in a sphere, y'all. And uh, oh, good, we have oh, we got all its stuff. <laughs> Three things we love it. Um, can somebody please drive to the car? Well, good news, I can't drive, I can't draw another card, so <laughs> he's gone. I don't have to worry about him anymore. Thank god. <laughs> yeah, Tez is just continuing to scream at the sheriff. He's like, I'll rip your fucking nuts off. Don't, Where's don't the baby man? Can steam me, make How do I get steam to me? Don't block his vision. <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually, uh, does, uh, yeah. Right, I guess I'm driving. Yeah. <laughs> Snips is in the passenger seat. <laughs> She's, like, watching. Like, we need, need a little car board. seat for Snips. Where's I... the rest of the cards? Um. I don't know. Well, I mean, uh, Waterloo had them, and then suddenly and then the, the the, another satyr appeared for... A second, just a few minutes. Suddenly, you guys had a stranger in your car who was just real nice. I love that Lou drew a card, created a problem, had the problem draw a card that solved the problem. That That's was, efficient, that was y'all. Close call. I was like, it was clutch. <laughs> oh well, at least the, at least that devil can't get me in this uh, sphere. It'd be real awkward. Or... Well, luckily, I'm always wearing pants, so I'm um, not totally Why naked. do I hear his incessant chatter? <laughs> what is happening? Well, that's you. I'm your conscience now. I hate you so much. <laughs> What's up, bitch? Even more than my familiar who literally eats the heads off of birds. It's true. It's weird. Oh, why do you say that? You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I, apparently I do. I don't know. I'm just stuck in this sphere. All right. Uh, okay. I wish you a thousand needles in the eyes every morning until you fade away into nothing. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Terrifying. Who's the bad guy again? Kim. It's Kim. <laughs> it's definitely Kim. I'm like, yeah, I'm like where, 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 where is he? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> all right oh so you guys head God. back to the cottage uh <laughs> um uh let's uh are, kaylee are you able to drive i mean do you have that <laughs> so uh roll me a uh dexterity at Biden. disadvantage <laughs> cool yeah Kaiten. cool cool oh, no. <laughs> cool oh. Uh, so 10. 10. All right. Okay. Um, you uh, hit a lot of curbs um, and probably draw a lot of attention to yourself because it's a van, um, paneled van, driving erratically through town. Uh, but you get there. You definitely get there. Um, and uh, how long is Pass Without Trace? That's probably gone. It's an hour. It's an hour. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, but you only cast it on you and uh, Snips. So, yes. uh, I would like for yeah, I'm Lisa. Yeah. It's an hour. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, I would like for everyone to roll stealth to get in and get the sheriff into the cottage. Could I actually not roll stealth? You can have 18. to. And very, very loudly announce myself as Lisa taking the sheriff into the cottage. Okay. Great. Sorry, uh, Kaylee, what'd you roll? 18. 18. Yeah, you're good. Um, 17. 17. Cool. Did you add plus 10, Jess? Me? Oh, that's a 27. Yeah, you I'm had, fine. you got past that. Also, even with my plus 10, is only an 18. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Um, great. Um, so you guys walk in. Uh, Richard is very startled uh when lisa walks in with a bound sheriff knightley and goes you can't be here i'm 
I'm I mean I call the cops, but what the fuck? Are there any customers? Um I'm gonna roll. Let's find out. I don't like this one. This one. Um Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take the sheriff's gun. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it into the air, and I'm gonna say no. <laughs> that moment when Cameron out chaoses himself. Oh my god! <laughs> now I want all of you out of here. My name is Lisa. <laughs> Good night, the sheriff. Can I give advantage to this deception by saying? No, Lisa, please let us go. Stop forcing me. You can't be seen. You were hidden. Go oh, ahead. I was hidden. I mean, but it's I, better with, I, with a disembodied I'm, voice. I'm, I'm currently hiding in the kitty corner. I forgot. I'm currently hiding in the kitty corner. Terrifying. Uh, but yeah, roll. Uh, roll. Oh, God. It's going to have to be deception. I was going to say deception or persuasion. But yeah, let's just do this. Like, we got to believe you. Could I give myself the help action by saying, my army of spiders, come to my aid. I will allow your spider, I will allow Bilby to give you the help, help action, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Bilby. Bilby. I, I give myself guidance. Listen, I thought the first iteration of Gillotin was chaotic. This is wild. This is uh, insanity. Unhinged. It's a, <laughs> yes. Uh, it's a 24 yeah everyone starts absolutely screaming and losing their shit and run out of the building richard included oh I, I i wink at richard as he leaves he punches you in the face Ow, that hurt. although it's hard because he's going up so it's more like he just the... he got punched, like punches me in that gut yeah <laughs> I'll take you down. Oh God, I'm, I'm, I'm Lisa and that her. I shoot at his feet. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Cool. He's, yeah. You have an empty, uh, an empty cottage now. Uh, you hear screaming down the road. Uh, as that happens. I, I go to try to pick up snips out of the pile of Furbies and I accidentally just grab a green Furby. Uh, I would love for my swarm to, like, just restrain Richard, just, like, swarm around, not Richard, uh, Deputy Knightley, or fucking Sheriff Knightley. Whoever you are. Um, soon to be the deceased. <laughs> the soon to Jesus. be deceased. <laughs> Jesus. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna do, let's do a grapple. I have their stats. Yeah, what are, what are their stats? Here, you roll okay, for the so spiders. I will roll for... Beautiful. Our friend. Okay. Negative four. <laughs> uh, he is, he is incapacitated, say, he is... though. Yeah. He's incapacitated. Oh, oh he's, yeah. that's right. He's incapacitated. Yeah, so he can't do anything about it. But he is screaming. That, <laughs> that is a one. Five minus four. Oh, he is trying to scream through the gag. That we put he's... <gasps> <laughs> like he's just okay. screaming, shrieking you, as he's covered by spiders. If you take off the gag, he can talk to us. Get as much information as, as possible before the police arrive. Who are you talking to? The spiders? Everybody. Just everybody in the room. <laughs> My friend. He's, oh, 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 oh. he's like, I'm not okay. Remove the remove it. The spiders were. I the, yeah. I think I'm gonna guy. come up to Sheriff Knightley. Uh, and every step I take, I'm gonna like bang the bat on the floor. Okay, don't don't block his view. Don't block his view. He needs to see me, and you can't hit him. I will hit him. He's tied, bound, and covered in a swarm of spiders. The spell is the least of our concerns right now. Do but I will only hit him if he doesn't tell the truth. I point the gun at him. I think Jeez. that honestly, all we need to do is tell him that if he doesn't tell us the truth, the spiders will go in his mouth. Oh and they'll God. keep going. And going. Uh, I'm going to roll a deception really quick. 
Oh, yeah. I rolled a five. Uh, eight minus three. Uh, Tez is alarmed at that. <laughs> Sarah, that was so scary. <laughs> he tries to hide it, and he's just like, oh, shit. Waterloo That's, loves it. I was bluffing. That's fucking dark. Like, okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Wide eye. Like, just like. <laughs> he's one of these. Like, Oh, look at his eyes. He's never going to use them to see his daughter again. Jesus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> At this point, he levels with the sheriff. He's like, please let me save you from these people. Oh. Who do you talk to in the mirror? And what do you know? And then I untie the gag. I don't know who it is. It's just this voice, and it sounds like it can sound like a million voices at once. It can sound like different voices. It's never the same. Does it ever sound like a baby? No. That would... Listen, okay. I know, given the circumstances that we're in literally right now, me saying that that would be weird is strange <laughs> but that would be weird <laughs> no it's always a, I think adults it never sounds like a kid it's not the baby man the baby man oh is that what you I wasn't were... talking to you <laughs> like looks at the sheriff <laughs> <laughs> who is this Can little I roll for intimidation <laughs> Who is this little goblin? Uh, go ahead. I am a valued member of the team. Always. A three. He, he's, he's like, he's like, oh, little goblin. Can I give, can I give the help action by smacking him across the face and saying, and that's my best fucking friend. No. You sure can. Roll oh, attack. God. Dang. Oh, Ten. I don't give a shit about him not in pattern. Uh, 24. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> so an unarmed attack. Oh. He loses a couple hit points, huh? <laughs> he can yeah, run. Five, five. Okay. Is it your strength plus one or is it just yeah. your strength? If he tries to run, I'll bite strength. him in the ankles. Um. He, yeah, he shakes his head. As he comes out of this hypnotic, just like, and he stays. Because one, he's covered in spiders and that freaks him out. Um, so he's not going to move. He's like, running didn't pan out great for him last time. So he'll, he won't do that again. He's also um, completely tied up. His legs Oh yeah, he's also, he yeah, he's also tied back. up. Yeah. He's, That's why he I don't is, give a shit about hypnotic pattern. He's yeah. Fully restrained. Yeah. He looks around and he looks at Lisa and goes, so obviously you're not Lisa. Um, excuse me. No, you're obviously you're not Lisa. So why would you say that? Do you have an intimate knowledge of me? Your voice keeps changing. That's not what even she even sounds like. I'm trying on different accents because I'm running from the law. <laughs> Can you just get these spiders off of me? I'm not going anywhere. No, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> well, all right. All Great, right. then I won't talk. <laughs> like, Lou, come on. No, that's why I'm going to kill you, because you're not telling a shit. What? Where's your mirror? You know where my it's mirror is. Yeah. What do you use it for? How do you use it? Every single detail. When did this start? Do you have your second memories? Please stop doing that voice. You're being coy. I'm not being no coy. I'm being here. real fucking annoyed right now. Just stop doing no, that you voice. You don't want me to use this voice because it's vastly more disturbing. Because it will be the last one you hear when you die. I don't care anymore. Okay, so... I, I cast Witch Bolt at a third level. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Can I, oh. can I move to... No, I don't got any reactions. I can do anything here, but look, 
There are many things that piss Waterloo. There are not many things that piss Waterloo off, but one of them is just being blasé to him. What? <laughs> He's an icon. Uh, that is... <laughs> That's a 24 to hit. He takes yeah. uh, he takes 27 points of lightning damage. Alright. Okay. Jesus. He's singed. <laughs> Get cool. fried, idiot. He, but also, I'm just like tied to him with the switch bolt. He okay. jerks and is smoking. <clears throat> mm, I'm sorry. As I was going to say... I was going to tell you everything because there's no point anymore. Are you, so you're yeah. still going to tell us everything? Are you going to kill me? Maybe, if you don't tell us everything. Okay. I, what is your you, dog? Is you, it actually a dog? You, calm down, all right? Take, I'm take, very calm. Well, you're not. You just witch-bolted this man... For enough to I'm kill still three men. witch bolting this you, man. You pumped up. You pumped him full of enough electricity to kill three men. Well, share uh, that came from. I still have questions about the dog. He looks Is it at an actual Snips. dog. He looks at Snips. Please answer Snips' question. He looks at Snips, and kind of smiles. In a way, it's the uh, hellhound. He's not telling us everything, Zappa. It's a hellhound. Okay, he, take... hell uh, he takes. Uh... He takes. No. <laughs> um. Uh. He takes. <laughs> uh, he takes twenty. Uh. Twenty-two points of damage this right. time. Okay, he's looking bad. Like he's really not okay. He coughs. He goes, oh, Jesus. He's a hellhound. <laughs> My God. Lou, get your finger off the trigger, Snips. <laughs> you gotta give people a chance to tell the truth. We can't commit war crimes. <laughs> Snips just kind of goes, he didn't talk fast enough, and I'm sorry. I what do the voices enough? tell you to do? Yes. They, they tell me to keep everybody in line because that That's keeps them... already I, your job. Why would they need to tell you that? <laughs> Because I have... Uh, okay, the fountain. It keeps. It makes people forget. It? the The fountain makes people forget. It's my job to keep pe- to keep people from remembering. Did you know that Lisa was a part of it too? No. Do you know any other co-conspirators? No. I didn't. I Can mean, I do an insight check? Yeah. Oh, not 20. So 27. 27? Yeah. He, um, what you're getting from him is bone deep exhaustion because this goes against everything in his body. Like, not being honest with you guys, but what he has been forced to do while here, he, he was a, he was a person, he was like somebody who was the law in a way that actually protected people. And he's had to become a mockery of what every single thing he held dear. So, and he's lost everything. So, he has no reason to lie. Snips, please trust me on this one. I trust you implicitly. Uh, I untie the sheriff. So, he has, so his feet are untied. He still has his handcuffs. And I say, I think are burnt because he just had lightning go through metal. Yes. <laughs> Can I attempt guys... to like pick the lock with my little He will hold his hands up. He goblin to goblin man. Yeah. He's a hobgoblin. He's we like I know. I feel bad. Like, I think he's as much of a victim of this as we are. No, no he knows things. I'm not a victim. I could have chosen not to follow. Exactly well, darling. Now you can choose to help us work against this. What did you find the real Lisa? Because she had spiders too, uh, or had a mirror too. And I think the best thing you could do is arrest her and hold her in custody for her protection. Can I just also? She needs a haircut. (laughs) That's one of the most unnerving things I've heard 
Um, and I've heard a lot of unnerving things today. Um, what did you do to my dog? Oh, I didn't we do didn't anything. To ask questions. Lou, come on, man. It's his dog. Huh. Here's the... I am. <laughs> the sheriff makes a good point. At any point, he could have stopped what he was doing, but he decided to continue to enslave an entire town of people. No matter his crocodile tears or his soft behavior now, what he did do was keep us here and keep that thing feeding on us. What use does he have? I think with his position, he could help us find out who did this. We'll get to the center of it. Do you know for sure he's going to do that and not fold again when he's presented the opportunity to get his wife and child back? Can I roll it inside to see if he'll help us? Yeah. If If I believe. Oh, shit. That went way out of my box. 24. Um, you do believe that he would help you because he does not have any hope that he will ever see his wife and child again. I say, I think Lou, he knows now that the only other alternative is that we find him again and kill him. Hmm. Katie, what do you think? Snips, you get a say in this, too. I gotta say, I'm wavering. I'm back and forth on this. It would be so much easier just to kill him now, but we do need all the help we can get. Will he be helpful, though? May I make a point? Beg. If you kill me, you kill me. But if you kill me, you will have the rest of the police department, whoever else is running this, they will get they will get you. I don't I mean like that's what they they're going to see that you killed or somebody killed the sheriff. They know exactly who killed the sheriff. That's not going to last forever. Because guess what? Mm. Lisa will fold. Like, that's... She'll fold what? She'll... They're just going to think she's a liar. I can Why get you, you into places that much easier than breaking in and having to waste your energy on hiding. I'm going to use my cute card and all of my charisma to try and speak to this man. And I'm going to stand in front of him, goblin to goblin, and just go, You promise you'll help. Tethered by lightning, surrounded by spiders. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And he... uh, his his he gets a little choked up and uh, he clears his throat and he reaches out covered in spiders (laughs) and hooks your pinky and says "Uh, you have my word as a goblin and snips takes it he just goes that is enough for me uh, I'm going to release the spiders, let the spiders leave him. I'm going to keep hold of my witch bolt, walk directly up to him, put my hand on his stomach. So it's just like this blue, like pulsating light. I'm going to take out a key and unlock his uh, cuffs. Okay. He rubs his wrist. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to lean in. That's a fey promise, my dear. And you know what happens when you break those. I do. And if you die, who does the curse go to next? 
I will do everything I can to keep this promise. But I can tell you all, whoever, whoever is behind this mirror, whoever's behind this mirror, I don't think they're the reason we're trapped here. Well, let's go speak to them. And that is where we will stop for today. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, we got him. If he breaks a pinky promise, I'm going to bite his dog again. <laughs> That's fair. That's only fair. Yeah. I'm going to kill that. Mm, he's toasty. <laughs> little toasty little hellhound. He's toasty. He's crispy. <laughs> I feel an enemies to lover trope coming on. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. He's like... I don't like I you. You're, you're legitimately psychotic. I don't like you. Enemies trope coming <laughs> on. We have to work together for breaking the pro code. Oh yes. Uh, uh-uh. It's She's, rough, you guys. Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff happening in between the interplay on this. <laughs> so mm-hmm. y'all have a think, huh? The tango All right. where we a think. And somewhere a in a sphere, somehow naked, even though he's a satyr, is just this guy going, "Man, that was wild." I just, like, I felt like fate. <laughs> I felt like fate drew me to this guy, and like he seemed real cool. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I just felt the fire of a devil, just not okay with me. And then I was here, and this, this is rough. This is a rough day. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> and on that meanwhile, note, like. He's the only soulmate that Lou has ever had. He trapped him in a sphere. <laughs> and you gotta great. like me, but not like me too much. I, can't, yeah. I don't like it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Come back next week for the penultimate session wow. of Campaign 1 of Gillyton. Wow. And we will see you wow. later. Goodbye. Will we kill the entire sheriff's department? Probably. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs>